Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech, Tech Mod Pack. In this episode, the first thing I'd like to do is to finish off doing the book. Actually, I've got my list here, let's have a look at that one. So, I want to copy the book. I've got a few things on my list here to do and I don't think I'm going to get through all of them today. But we'll see, we'll see how far we can get. So let's go and start off with this book. So the book is actually here. What I need for this. I made the press, or the Enchanted Press Chase, isn't it? It's an Enchanted Chase. I made that last time. So what we need to do on here, we need to put some ink. And I, I think the ink goes on the top here. It's a bit of an... I always remember it being slightly awkward, the ink, to get it into place. But I've got 20 ink sacks from... Actually, some of it was from fishing. And I, some of it was... So I think it goes here. Yes, it does look. And on the left-hand side of this, we put the books. So I've got six books here like that. So when I put those down, it automatically start, starts printing. Now, did I bring my monocle with me? Let's have a quick look. Oh, in fact, maybe we wait for this to finish. And see, now we've got a duplicate enchanted book, I hope. Yes. So that should be the same as the one we had before, the um, Unbreaking 3 Respiration 2 book. So we can put that into there. And we can, then we've got a second one already. And then the third one will break this. So I'll put that into there like that. And then the third one will break the chess chase. So if you want more, you have to start again. So you need a. You see now the chase is broken, and I've got the third book. So let's shift right, shift right, let's click that off there. So we've still got our three unbreaking respiration, two, enchanted books, and I've still got my hel my helmet. I thought I'd, I thought I'd lost it, but it was actually here. So this is the one with respiration two on it. So I can actually combine those two together on an enchanting table and we'll make a respiration three helmet, which might be worth doing. And also, while I'm doing that, the other thing on my list was to repair these, um, where is it, wool? These filters, you can repair the filters. I didn't realize you could do. And because of that, I've actually made a diamond one, and we'll put that. Actually, I'm just going to put the diamond one in. So the recipe for the diamond one is exactly the same as the gold one. Wrong. I knew it would sort it. There we go. So it's four diamonds instead of four pieces of gold, three pieces of wool, two pieces of glass, and this one has a capacity of 256, so it lasts longer. But you can repair it with three pieces of wool, which is great. Now, where does it go to on top of that one there, like that? Yeah. So then that'll filter out. What it's going to filter out is going to filter out the sulfur emissions because the carbon emissions are actually useful. The carbon emissions will actually do accelerated plant growth. Bad for us, but good for the plants. So here I've got a reasonably very damaged anvil, so it might not survive these two operations. Let's do the first one. We'll do this one. We need one level of XP to do this. And it gets repaired so it then its capacity is zero and here its capacity is 128. so we take it off and sure enough it broke <laughs> so i can't do my helmet until i build another one of those in fact this weekend i had actually upgraded the uh, pollution of the realm mod realms mod but it caused so much it has a bug in it so it caused so much pollution i had to revert back and i actually lost a bit of work when i was doing that so let's go and put this one I'll put it somewhere else in a minute. Uh, in fact, maybe I should make another anvil in the first in the process of this. I hadn't thought about that. So we need. Let's take a stack of iron. I probably got. I've got a little bit of iron in here, so I'll just do one of these. Put the iron in there, and then we can do the recipe for that. Oh, it gives me thirteen. I don't want thirteen. Three will do fine. Oh, got lots of iron in that too much I can't even like get it in so let's just do it like this split that up and then we can shift click these off and then they go automatically into here so we should be able to make an anvil now where's the anvil gone to let's put three of those there go down scroll down a bit and then here we've got those so we can make an anvil strangely enough I can remember that recipe take that off and it's the only anvil we've got in the pack so I have to use this one so that we'll go and fix this and we'll actually do up up Grade this helmet. So actually, it's, it'll be quite. Useful. Might not have enough XP for that. So now we've got an anvil, and we can upgrade this helmet with a book and the helmet. And we need 16 levels. 
and that will give it also respiration three and unbreaking three before it doesn't have the unbreaking three other than that it's actually a pretty good helmet the only bad thing about it is gold which is very, very soft so let's take these two out of here well, let's put them in the, the chest here i've got a chest here with nothing in it at the moment because i moved everything out but that's where it normally goes and we can put this this filter over here i think i'm not sure i want to put it oh that's a bit of tank and we'll see what that's for in a second well you can guess can't you because it's going to be for creosote because i've got so much creosote it, it becomes a bit awkward let's put down one block of dirt let's put a block of dirt down here then i should be able to get up actually and i want to put it on this one now can i jump high enough if i can't oh yes i can jump high enough there we go so I've got a second filter on here and I could put a filter on it but I don't think this is actually producing smog uh, but it might be producing pollution I'm not 100% sure it doesn't seem to be producing it so let's do this as well what I wanted to do is to connect these two together with a and I think I have to use a pump to get this stuff out of here so what we do is we put a pump down and I normally put it I think I put it on the top here Let's put it here so now when I press shift it says the facing side's got no connection so if I press shift it says the opposite side's got no connection so if I take the hammer here and shift right click it then it says the opposite side is input and I know that underneath here is input too so we've got to go up and that's how I've put me block block of dirt back again actually so we can jump across here and then we should be able to jump up here I think I can do this especially if I shift like that and then I was came across something that was a bit surprising to me and I still quite know what this means but if I shift right click the top of this it says this pump will no longer replace fluid box with cobblestone warning this is cause lag we don't want lag so I'll turn it off again so what I had to do is to click this one here so it says the opposite side is input when we want to output so we shift click it so that, so that's basically now we know that's an output so then we can connect it up i hope it connects up like that and i don't need to do any connections on here it'll automatically go in what have we got in here i've got some creosote now you see it's not working now it needs it might need power but it certainly needs a redstone signal so i'll give it a redstone <laughs> took me ages to figure that out a redstone signal first of all so i thought is that going down it is going down so i don't need to have a pump it doesn't need to have a power i thought it did if i did need to power i just put a connector on here and connect it up it goes faster with power but we don't need it so this tank this tank has now got five buckets and this process can carry on working so it's got uh, 10 coal at the moment or coal coke i need that because i need some more steel and i've got some iron in here so but i'm not sure if it's better in fact i think it is better to do the steel in one big batch but for the time being i need some steel for the next thing we're going to be making so let's get this in into operation you see this will produce this one produces quite a lot of pollution so have i got my vacuum bag with me no i haven't so i'll leave that hopefully it doesn't go overboard and make too much So now, what have we done on my list here? So we've repaired the filter. We've copied the book. And I would like to, well, yes, I've got redstone automation on here. And there is something I'd like to make from redstone automation. Because I don't know how much power these machines are, are generating. And there is a device in redstone automation that will tell you, tell you, oh yes and i haven't done frames either that's frames basically these are b frames so we haven't got any sticks and we haven't got any so if i get a few sticks and let's get a stack of sticks out of here it's going to night time but i can quickly craft this and let's make six of these things if we can we can't do the others because there's no we need 
impregnated sticks. Oh, we can make the impregnated one, yes. And the difference between these, actually we can say it on here, the difference between these two is durability and genetic decay. Now, the genetic decay affects the ignoble bees. So an ignoble bee will produce more drones, basically, if it's got a better frame. The, the proven frame is the one you can't make because that comes from... Um, Oh, you can enchant it, can you? Oh no, that's enchanting this one. But you have to do it a villager trade. A level 2 apist trade will give you that. So basically you have to give him a lot of emeralds and bucks trading stuff. And I haven't found an apist around. I think there is one in one of the villages, but not so near. Anyway, I want to make these basic frames to start with. So let's just shift in six of these. I've got space because they don't stack. That's five. Let's go and put these sticks back in here and shift these out. I get the six ones. So it's night time. I'll be back in a few seconds when it's daytime. Right, I'm back. So what we'll do is I put down these apries last time, didn't I? So we'll actually put some frames into this. So I'll put these three frames in here. And we'll put these three frames in the other one. Like that. Now what we can then do is take the bees out of here because they're bound to have been finished by now. So I've got, I've got nine drones out of this. Now I've got some honeycomb, which is good. And this one's probably got nothing at all in it. Oh, it's got one here, honeycomb. They don't actually make so much. And in fact, I think the apiary ones make even less honeycomb which is maybe that's not intended so let's put those two in there first of all and do the same for these two and then they should be starting to fly good I'm just checking this one yes now there is something I should have done in the previous episode which we'll do now and it's actually not on my list but it makes me think about it because I've got this analyzer here with nine charges in. So I'm going to take four, I want four uh, saplings from uh, dark oak. Tell you what we'll do. We'll make the grafter because that is on my list of things to do. So I don't need the drawers at the moment. I wanted the, oh, actually I actually do need the drawers, but I will need it. What I want is a controller. And I want to do a grafter. And that's this one. I don't think I can make the proven grafter because that's another village trade or a dungeon chest. It's a level one trade. I know it was the difference is basically the number of uses. So this gets 10, this gets 150. Might be well worth doing. So let's just do this. So we need one bronzinger and two sticks. We've got a bronzinger. I mean, two sticks. We've got some bronze in this chest here. So we should be able to make that. Now what this does is it guarantees the sapling every time you use it, as far as I know. Let's just test it on this, because this is a this would be useful to test it on. Yep, you see, you get one magna sap, slime sapling, which is great. And I want to do the same thing for the dark oak, because I want four dark oak. Take that one off. Oh, did not give me one. Yeah. Or did it drop somewhere else? So I've got the dark oak sapling, and what I want to do is with these, so I want to take these dark oak saplings from here, so I've now got four. And I want to take, I think, four spruce. One of those, and one of the, and I haven't got enough space. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff here. I've got a bit of space behind this, so we can put that into these. We can put that away like that. And I'm going to analyze these trees. You'll see this is Minecraft, this is also Minecraft, this is Minecraft, and this is Minecraft. So I'll put those through the analyzer first of all. I've got nine drops and it doesn't matter, you can put in, I'll put in four, it just uses one. So it's now, it's not anymore a Minecraft sapling, it's now a forestry sapling. So we'll do the same with all of these. We don't really care about the the statistics on it at the moment because what we're going to do is plant them I've got a space where I want to plant these things what will happen is they will start to produce um, butterflies 
<laughs> strangely enough instead of bees we'll get butterflies so let's think of what we can put this stuff on. of course there's too much grass around here so let's just i'm going to put the big trees at the back here so the big trees are going to be these two and no, i'm not going to put them right up <laughs> that one down we're going to do the next one's this one and i'll put that one here i think so we've got a little bit of space now we can put the, the other two saplings down somewhere it still wants to my tinker's construct one in here being stubborn i think that's far enough away and we'll do the, the silver birch sapling down here like that and we'll let those grow and eventually we'll get some mutations and we'll get so we'll get end up with different types of wood and that's part of the the exercise isn't it so that's what it, that's what that's about so you see now i've got my uh magna slime sapling these are actually really rare a really rare drop from this tree i can break the whole tree down now because i've got the sapling that i want we can replace it so we can chop this tree down where's my lumber axe i think the lumber axe will work i'm not 100 percent sure if it works on magna slime no it doesn't <laughs> So that will decay and the chance of getting a sapling oh we actually got two that time that's not bad because last time i did it i got none at all so we can put this down here and then we can use we have a use for this stuff the congealed magnet slime and something so the use of that is basically this so we can craft that into and it's well, well worth doing we might as well craft that into uh magnet magnet slime balls so which are then useful as a replacement for slime balls so we can we've got a consistent supply of slimes now which we can i think they're fairly interchangeable i don't know whether we can do it with uh blaze powders let's have a look if that works with the blaze powder a wrong one yep magma cream so that's also good so we've got a good supply of stuff now so we, we're fairly safe uh, generating those so that's going to put those away somewhere let's put these in i want to say those i mean the magnus lines up let's put those safely away in here actually no we'll put those in this chest with the wood stuff then i'll know where it is right now you may have noticed there's a hopper down here and what there is at the other end of this hopper is automated from over here i won't show you this either because it's new well, let's take these while we can because it's obviously summertime i did only get three and what i've done is i've dragged hopper ducts all the way down from the top here it's actually getting a bit tight in this area now so the hopper ducts are coming from the hop from the absorption hopper up here which is full and the reason it's full is we've got no space below it <laughs> to take the stuff out every one of these will be full you see bones so there's a lot of stuff in here that's being blocked what i need to do is there some way i think i've thought of how i'm going to do this is to get it out of here now what we're going to do is we're going to put behind this a, a slave controller so for a slave controller, that's why I've got so not a drawer controller, we want a slave controller. Basically allows input. So what are we missing on that? Everything. Great. So we need stone, comparators. I wish we've got some comparators in here. A storage drawer of some description. Well, let's got one in here. Let's take one of those out. Oh, I did notice something else when I was doing this as well. Now I don't know where I've put the other bit. Is it in? here no it's not in there maybe it's the other one i was looking for the other frame framing drawer i think it might be in here yes it is when i was watching my video back i was going oh there's no difference between these let's just come over to a position where we can actually just... nope maybe yes here so when you actually replace this one which was a, a single stacked for the eight four two by twos you get a difference and it does actually look different you see that the front actually does change so that's actually slightly more complicated than this one you get this one with the you get the actual bars through what i wasn't sure about is whether i changed these two over <laughs> 
so you get a completely different looking drawer in that case it doesn't have it they're actually at the sides <laughs> I wonder if that actually works very interesting anyway I thought I'd show you that just just as an aside um, I'm getting a bit thirsty let's go and get some water and cook that up in fact I've got plenty of water cooked up so let's just take this empty bottle here this I told you before is fresh water and you can take that safely and put that over here let's go put that into this chest here in fact we can take one out because I've got plenty in here anyway oops a bit of lag at the moment don't ask me why right so what I want to do is have a drink but I would like some sugar I think I've got sugar in here no oh my gosh that's strange and we'll just take one of these and then make that into sugar and then we make ourselves a juice because the juices are definitely way better than the others actually this that's like three three hearts compared to four i'll have an apple juice this time so water's back again that's one of the things that actually catches you out a lot not having enough to drink in this pack <laughs> catches you out and you're dead that's it it's night time again so what i want to do next is i'm going to go and show you what i've done up there so i'll come back in a few seconds when it's slept I'll, in fact i'll go up there and i'll come back right i made this platform a little bit bigger and i planted some trees and the idea is that the trees will actually absorb the carbon emissions and i think they do because if I now, I haven't got my analyzer with me, but if I take my analyzer, and what I was doing here was seeing if I could actually pump the emissions through a iron filter. It doesn't work as far as I can see. It'll take these blocks beside it, but it doesn't seem to be pulling it. It doesn't really matter because I've got rid of most of the sulfur emissions anyway. So what I'll do now is I'll just uh, pick up these if I've got any space in my inventory, which I have. I think I've got enough space for these I'm just wondering whether I have but I can do that as well yeah oh maybe I haven't got enough space but I've probably got my, my backpack on I have good so I'll tell you what, I'll move that drawer out of the way get rid of the dirt oh yes of course and I can pick up the rest of this stuff now so that was an experiment to see whether or not it would make a difference using this as a technique to clearing up the sulfur emissions because the sulfur emissions are the bad one and you see that will go up and hopefully the tree will absorb the carbon emissions so maybe these other trees will grow and that's a bit like that these other trees will grow so let's go down again I think I've got everything oh <laughs> that can come with me that's the uh, <laughs> that that's the iron filter let me see if I can get rid of this stuff I've got in mind what I've got here and I think I was putting these into here I was so the iron filter should be somewhere about so here I should just pick it up did it fall ah I picked it up good right so that was that experiment didn't always work but it's worth showing you the things that don't work as well because that's like that so if I now take this not the analyzer but the aerometer whatever it's called I figured this out as well it took me a while I was looking at the levers and it doesn't help you very much but if I press the E on here and it tells you what emissions we've got so now in this chunk I've got zero sulfur emissions because I was busy sucking up all the soap oops sorry so look on this one here I've got sulfur carbon emissions six percent and this was before it was reasonably high it was like I think it was seven percent sulfur emissions so just going up there and sucking all that stuff up helped in that one and this one it says two percent carbon emissions so it's almost not polluted at all in here so right that was that now how am I doing for time I'm not 100 percent sure to be honest with you so what else did I want to do on this loop so 
Redstone automation. Grafter have shown you about. Frames have done. B automation have not done. Well, that's fairly straightforward. Let's have a look at that one. So what we're going to do with B automation is we're going to do that next. Because I think this is probably the easiest one. So I need an item router. And I think I've got the item router from before. How many notes in this backpack here? It is, look. So I've sort of prepared for this. And I've got some conveyor belts. And I've got the item extractor. Extracting conveyor belt. And what you do is it won't work on the these hives but it will work on these hives so we can extract out of here and basically what I want to do is extract it out and filter it and it might need more space than I've got we'll see I'm not 100% I haven't tried it I just sort of wondered whether it could extract and it can extract if I put that to the other way around a uh, hammer can I sh hammer this the other way around no I can't I can only hammer the belt okay I should have put it down this way. Where's it gone to? Ah, third time lucky. I shall put this down as well. I'll put that down here. And then we can bring the stuff out of that. So we want this one. This time that way. And you see it's it's pulled everything out of here. It didn't pull out this side, but it did pull out every everything else. So what we need to do now is to get this to root and I've got the stuff that I need here so what I would like to do is to root so the red side <coughs> the blue side or the cyan side let's do that one first let's put down a block I want to close to it yes let's put this into a chest have I got a chest with me probably not got some frame drawers <laughs> I'll put one of those down for a time being I think we can actually use these as ordinary drawers but we'll see so what I want to do here is I want the comb to come out on the cyan side so let's put the comb here and on the other side the, the magenta side we want the princess and the drones to come out like that and we don't care we want it to be well, I think we'll just keep it the same for the as it is for the time being, mean, that'll do for this particular one. So then we need to take this and feed it back into this, into this apron. I think that'll also work. So can I do it like this? Let's take the. Let's put that down here like that. I think this will work. <laughs> Should press shift on while I'm on this one, shouldn't I? Like that, no, like that. And then, if I can, if I hope this will work, put it like that, and then it should go into the apri. So, let's put into this onto this one now. Uh, I have to put it on here and get out of the way because my mic. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll do take this off now. I can't take it off just yet. I've got to get rid of something else. Let's just get rid of something else. I don't want probably that'll do for the time being. And then let's just remove this. So we want to put down the bees. Try again. And the honeycomb. So I can't put it in there. They won't let me put it in. But I should be able to click them across onto this one. I can't. Okay. Well, I'll have to do it this way. Can I not right click these onto this? Uh, okay. That's a bit awkward. I'll have to put them straight in in that case. <laughs> it wasn't what I wanted to do. So I'll have to put this one into this storage drawer here. Does that work? Oh no, it doesn't work. It is just it is just the wrong type. But at least I've got the other type with me. So let's get that one out. Oh of course I haven't got my I haven't got my pack on anymore so I can't get it in that. So I'm gonna try it again. So now I should be able to take this one. I suppose that's an axe. Now I should be able to put the honeycomb into there. Like that. And then 
what we should do is quantify as well let's go and get the quantify and locking keys this is locking key I'm going to actually unlock everything and then lock it up again straight away and I'm going to do the same with quantifying key because I broke some by accident and didn't f I forgot to reset them like that good and we'll see so at the moment it's got eight eight in here and how many has it got in the hive that's probably the best way to tell it's ten so we've got ten drones in there and eight in the other so if it actually works so the next thing was a slave controller wasn't it and that's what I needed that thing for <laughs> I need another one out of here I can't control click them out that's a shame so we needed stone and I've got no space in my inventory I'll tell you what we'll do because I was going to I was planning to use power on that thing I thought I had to use power on the on the pump but I don't have to so that saves some space on that one I need these steel scaffoldings the iron filter we can put away some stage I'll put that in this chest for the time being right that should give us enough space to do what we want I just press my mouse button right and it goes very fast <laughs> so if I can put it back again right so that's better so I wanted to do the stone didn't I I think it's still a bit fast so I need five pieces of stone <laughs> yes it's too fast <laughs> hold on I'll come back in a second after night time as well that's five of those so what else did we need for doing the thing? I think it was some repeaters. I think it's either two or four repeaters. I don't know which. Uh, we'll find out in a second. So let's try that one. Ah, it's comparators to comparators and a, and a gold ingot. I've got the comparators already ready. So I just need the gold ingots. We should be able to make this up now. So there we go. See what we'll do, we'll put these two keys back. So in this hopper you'll see it's full of stuff. So what I want to do is I want to fill up this block beside it and I, want, I can put the controller underneath this block here. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to break the hopper. It'll probably be I'm going to drop some stuff on the floor. like that and you'll see that this halper duct is actually holding back the water which is also okay in fact I should be able to right click those out of that and that's good and then I can put the controller here so let's just take the con knock that away and then put the controller there and then we can put the hopper facing that controller I tried to do it with the hopper duct directly didn't work so you can put the hopper straight into this now obviously I'm going to be getting stuff in here that I can't process like a bow because that doesn't exist and that should be getting more stuff in it and why is it not getting more stuff into that or does it just take time I right, there we go so I think it's coming in other stuff that we can't see is coming in here so we can take those out and it will fill up so what I need to do next was to find another way to to get this out what I've thought about doing is decorating. I need to move these chests out of the way. So I'll do some packing tape and move these chests out of the way. Tell you what, I'll do that and come back. Right, I've also made another one of these extractors. So I put a drawer down here. I moved the other drawer away and I, I packed up the two... Um, the two immersive engineering drawers because they don't they will they will drop their items with this packing tape here the packing tape for us it's actually it's fairly straightforward so it's one slime ball bucket of slime whatever plus a string and a piece of paper will give you one of these and every time you right click this with a, some paper in your inventory it will wrap it up i'll show you in a second um so what i'm going to do here is now is to put down an extracting chest here it won't work will it ha it needs to be pointing towards this thing 
That means I've got to break some blocks back here or put it in forwards. And I prefer not to put it forwards, but I think I'll think about this. For the time being, we'll put it forwards. And whatever comes into this chest here. Now, I'll tell you what, I'll we'll break these two blocks. That's no big deal. In fact, there's a chest that's in this perfect spot. See, it's got just exposed some green wool. So let's just put that that way. So there you go. Everything that's in here is coming out of there. And then we can feed that straight into this chest and it would probably be better to do some covered blocks in here let's get these out of here see i'm getting all these bits and pieces so anything that won't go into the system will come in out into here we'll end up now into this chest if i get out of the way so this chest is now getting filled up with items that which, which can't be processed so here so i'll do the so they've got no storage drawers in here Like that. There's a lot of glass bottles by the looks of it, which is interesting. Didn't expect that. In fact, I can remove these from here because I think let's right click this away and put this uh, in here. I've got some, I think I've put the been putting these into there now for the time being. So it's going to get full up very fast. This chest, I can tell just because of the way it's, it's working, especially with these band aid things. They, because they don't stack actually that's a I don't really need them anymore either that's that's the sad thing about it once I got my necrotic bone I don't need any anyway that's it for this episode hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time until then bye for now <laughs>